Brown. Don't hurt Brown. No, Brown! Hey, where I reach my shame when I call your name. So please don't set me free. Welcome back to Rule of Rose. In the last episode, we found two pigs, two goats, and two rats. And now this door is open. So let's see what's in the backyard. Holy shit. I don't have the health to fight a quarter of those. There's something over there. So this is your new friend, huh? It's so filthy, but adorable. Oh yes, Jennifer. There will be an aristocrat club meeting after this. Today will be the most wonderful day. I hope you enjoy it. Oh shit. What is this? Jennifer found the funeral. The funeral. Can I read it? Once upon a time, a girl found a hole in the ground in the yard. The little people came out and told her the news. Today is the day of your funeral. If you don't like it, then you must sacrifice your friend who wants to be buried alive. So the girl did what she had to and buried her best friend. Well, I wouldn't want to be here, be her best friend. Me neither. Sounds like a bitch. Wait. When the girl finished reading the storybook, the dreadful imps had all vanished, and even her dearest friend is nowhere to be found. They took Brown, didn't they? What'd you do with Brown? You slut. Then the girl thought she heard the cries of her friend calling for help. She said there's a club meeting. This time the girl was certain it was her friend. Brown! Don't hurt Brown. No, Brown! It's not the girl's dear friend. What happened to him? Was he... Because of the frightening images in her head, the poor girl was nervous. Was a nervous wreck. What is that? I can't, I can't... That was brown when I first came up here. The girl could hear her friend calling for help from behind the door. I'm coming, brown. There you are, brown! It was not the girl's dear friend this time either. Something terrible has happened to him. Because of the frightening images in her head, the poor girl was a nervous wreck. I'm coming, Brown. Don't worry, Brown. Wait, what does that say? This month's gift, filthy Brown. No! What are you doing to Brown? Brown's dead. No. Oh. I will destroy all of you. Wait, that's not brown either. The fuck? You bitches. You're all bitches. <laughs> if 
thought we were friends. Your break is in the bag. It's too late now. <gasps> no! Fuck yeah, fuck her up. Liar! Go away! Just go away! Get the fuck out of her. Never forgive you! Not ever! And as for the rest of you, how could you believe all those lies? Aristocrats! You're just the opposite. I hate you, and I hate you, and you! for playing your stupid games and not having the strength to stand up to you it's all just hideous So we were a kid the whole time. Oh shit. December 1930. Stray dog and the lying princess. I'm confused now. Were we not a kid? <laughs> Jennifer found stray dog. Stray Dog and the Lying Princess Once upon a time there was a little girl who told lies. She liked to scare the other girls by screaming, Stray Dog is coming, Stray Dog is coming. But soon everyone stopped being scared, they hated the way that she lied. One day the girl came home screaming, Stray Dog is coming, really. Everyone thought it was just another lie. Except this time it was no lie at all, and so they were all gobbled up. The end. That's a nice story. That's what they get for fucking with Brown. But I don't need to do that. <laughs> really? Really? How tragic? <laughs> what you girls doing? Princess now. Where y'all going? Jennifer, Jennifer, 
You know you're creepy, right? <laughs> Just want you to know that. What are you doing, Amanda? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Guess I need to go through this door. <laughs> you touched my butt. I don't know what's going on. Do I have my weapon still? I do. I'm gonna equip the axe. Just in case. You all decide to go fucking crazy. What y'all doing? Oh, hello. What's going on here? What is this, lollipop? Damn it, pick it up. Pick up the lollipop, damn it! Is there nothing else? I need to. Jennifer. Thank you very much for coming to our new aristocrat club. Greetings, Princess Jennifer. From now on, you'll be our new princess. Now, princess, please think up a new game. Please lead us. We are yours to command, princess. Princess, go ahead. Guide us. We need you. We don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, look, it's Wendy. It's Wendy. She's a bitch. She killed Brown. Somebody running out this door. That didn't sound very good. Are they killing Wendy? That didn't sound very good. What the fuck? That's weird. Are you the stray dog? Once upon a time, that was a precious I'm gonna beat you with an axe. I'll do it. Don't doubt me. Oh shit, you're big as hell. You're like bigger than a normal person. Grass cracks hanging out too. I know who you're supposed to be, but like, you weren't that big before. You're like seven or eight foot tall now. And I'm. Um, oh shit. He got me that time. I was sitting there beating his ass though, pretty hardcore. Oh, God. 
God, when he does that, that's when it fucks me. But I can get a pretty good little combo going on. Damn it. I guess it's not going to let me do that anymore. There he goes. Oh, God. I'm getting him, though. He's about dead. Because he's doing that every time I hit him once now. Brown! There you are! There you are, Brown! Missed you. You hit Brown. It's not very nice. Fuck. Don't worry, Brown. I still got some food for you. Oh, shit. He hit me pretty hard that time, I think. Yep. I have a lollipop. That's all I have, though. So I can't afford to get hit much more. Brown? Can't die on me. If only Brown actually did something in fights. That'd be, that'd be pretty nice, but... How much health do you have, bro? Get the camera turned around here. Oh! I think that fucked him. Yeah, I'm coming for you next, bitch. Drop anything? Nope. Bunch of clothes everywhere. Yes, the because you wouldn't love me, because you were so stubborn. I brought you here. Because you fell in love with Brown. <laughs> because you didn't realize it was me. I brought Stray Dog here. But I, I, that's a gun. Please stop him with this. Only you and your beloved dog can stop him. I'm sorry. Holy shit. That was weird. Jennifer found Gregory's gun. Has one shot. He just bucked me like hardcore. And I'm hurt. What the fuck? Right, let's finish this. He's already bucking. Brown's already hurt. Sorry, Joshua. Take this gun. Do what you know you gotta do. I'm sorry, Joshua.
Brown. Brown's just like, let's get the fuck out of here. And I agree. January 1930, once upon a time. Well, once upon a time in the next episode, remember, don't trust anyone that acts like a dog and then kills himself. <laughs>